Welcome back, everyone, to another episode of Cyber and You, where we're empowering people through knowledge and entertainment. I'm your host, Taylor, and I'm going to take you through how to navigate the Linux file system. So as you can see here, we're actually going to open up a terminal. Uh, if you don't know how to do that, I'll just show you how to do that really quick. Let's just minimize that. You actually right-click the desktop and go to Open Terminal. And there you go. So uh, first things first, we're going to take you through how to determine what your, uh, what your working directory is. So you can do that with a command called pwd for your present working directory. Hit enter. You can see that we're in the home directory of uh, me, the user. So if I actually want to list the contents of that directory, we're going to use a command called ls. And you're actually listing all the directories there. Now we can use other options for this command. ls tac a, which would actually be listing all of the files, hidden or not. So as you can see, we have a different output with ls-tac-a than we did with just ls. We can actually do a long listing, which ls-tac-l. gives you a little bit more information. As you can see, it's going to tell you what that actual file is. Here are the permissions, the user that owns that file. You've got the modification date and time, and you're going to actually have the directory name here. We can actually list these by modification time with ls-tac-t. So it'll actually list the directories or files based off the modification time. And we can actually do a recursive listing with ls tac r and it would actually change. We can actually do all the options at one time, L-A-T-R. You have a long listing of all your files based on modification time and a recursive order. So say I want to go into one of these these directories. We're going to use something called the change directory or CD. We can actually do it just like this. Do a listing. Um, you can see there's actually nothing on the desktop. So say we wanted to change directories into the documents file. We actually do that with an absolute path name, which would be home slash Taylor slash documents and as you can see we actually already have two files there but say you wanted to change directories based off a relative path name so I can actually go back to my home directory with a little shortcut here with tilde we can go back now I can actually list the command or list the contents of that directory and Say I wanted to change back into the documents directory. Do cd documents. You can actually do that as a relative path name. You don't have to type in the entire directory structure. And as you can see, we were back in the documents directory and we're listing cyber and you and tbrom5 as the files within that directory. We can actually change the directory with a couple other shortcuts. We can go to the parent directory here. We can go up one level. We can back in the Taylor directory. We can do that one more time. And now we are back in the home directory. The last thing that I want to show you is the less pages. So the man command, uh, we actually did it for the ls, um, the ls command. So it, this is going to take you and tell you everything you need to know about the ls command. Take you to the different options. You can scroll through those options with the up and down arrow key. You can actually search by doing the forward slash. Uh, say I want to do long, because it's for long listing. So I can actually do forward slash long, and it'll actually take you through arguments to the long options. Do it again, and it'll take you and find other 
instances of that keyword. And if I want to quit the less pager, just type Q. And there you have it. That's how you can easily manipulate the file system going through, going to other directories. You can see uh, the contents of those directories. You can see the files that are within them. Um, as always, if you learned something today, just drop a comment below. Uh, if you have any questions, you know, feel free to comment. Go to cyberinu.com. And of course, click the link to subscribe. Oh, <laughs>